what is up guys this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen YouTube channel uh, talking about the stable Android 11 base custom room for Redmi Note 8 users this is CF base Android 11 base custom room which is one of the stable rooms out there using it from some time have my opinions I'm gonna share with you my opinions is it really great it has a lot of hype around there that is this one of the stable rooms Android 11 base for Redmi Note 8 users is it really how's the performance performance is up to the mark or not how's the battery backup a lot more things in this video stay tuned for that and make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started guys talking about this room this one is also comes with the android vision 11 with the september security sorry october security patch with the google play system update of 11 it's based on caf so it should be great in the terms of performance and battery backup but honestly in my opinions if you talk about the octavio os which i just reviewed some time ago is one of the best Ever rooms I have ever used in Redmi Note 8 in the terms of Android version 11 and I'm using it from some time that room is great in the terms of performance this one is great this one is awesome too has some great kind of features in this build I'm not talking about those features which you get in MSM extended or some rooms but almost every Android 11 feature is there working perfectly fine here pixel launcher pre-installed with a lot of features but honestly in the terms of performance and battery backup Octavio OS is great these are my opinions not sure about you talking about this build this comes with a pixel launcher pre-installed i'm using a google apps based build that's why it has two builds which one has some which first build has google apps pre-installed second build has not included the google apps so if you want to install on on your own google apps you can install them the link for both of the files is in the description you can simply install them if you want to i'm using the google apps build it has a pixel launcher pre-installed and as you can see app pinning feature is also available which i was I was using in beta 3 GSI this was working great and I just love this feature because whenever you use most recent apps which recent app you use you will see the app will be listed here looks great here talking about some features if you go for the home settings it has a pixel launcher so you all know which features you get in the pixel launcher like swipe to access the Google app and suggestion options where you can adjust these kind of things and suggestions in app list just in the home screen you can also block the apps if you want to these are things you get in home settings and if you talk about styles and wallpapers this is one of my favorite sections in this android 11 build we have the alive wallpapers like these are from pixel 5 wallpapers okay and if you got about these these are some downloadable wallpapers and these wallpaper work great i have used these wallpapers these two wallpapers these were working great here if you talk about this wallpaper this looks damn great if we click here it will be asked it will ask for you to set the wallpaper as home screen or lock screen i will ask i will choose this one and this is the wallpaper will look like the wallpaper looks great i just don't use the live wallpaper because it will drain my battery so much that's why i was using the stable wallpaper a still wallpaper and that was working fine here if i go here and if i choose this one that was working fine here that's why i was using here so these were the things i just want to shift this default launcher moving on to some other things I'm using the latest Moded Magisk which I already made a video on that you can use the Moded Magisk. Magisk with 21.0 is not directly working here. You can work it indirectly has some process. I'm not going to show that process for that. So simply install a Moded Magisk which is working fine here in my case. Also I'm using a Magisk module called Full Screen Gestures. We already know about this module that this will enable the full screen immersive mode so that you will be full screen mode for your gestures so you'll not see that empty space behind your keyboard or you'll not see the pill here and i honestly not a fan of that pill talking about the quick settings we have these kind of quick settings available by default you will see three by three here and if you go here and if you go here you can adjust the columns and you can also choose the rules customization so if you want to choose two and then just disable it sorry then just go for here and then you will see these two by three options available here and also you can adjust the columns on uh, like columns to four so like this so the, you will see the almost everything same like all android 11 based things it has these kind of build number options available here talking about the battery backup you can see my ideal drain is 0.56 percent per hour active drain 8.80 percent per hour i'm using it from last night from 78 percent it's now at 50 percent with almost three hours of screen on time so i'm not saying the battery backup is bad it is quite great but if you compare it with the octavi os octavi os is far better and far great 
in my opinion in my device if you go for the safety net status unfortunately the safety net status was not passing at all it might be in my ear it in your case it might be work for you but in my case it's failed you can see redmi note 8 failed safety net compatibility test so i cannot use the banking apps in any case till now but yes if you use magic Suite 21.0 then the safety net status might be passed for you or you can use the magic hide if you want to depends upon you whatever you want to choose Rome does not come with many customizations you already know about that but has very cool kind of things if you go for the display and if you go for this theming we have the dark theme as expected we have the option to customize the recent colors you can customize your body fonts you can customize icon shape and icon pack so at least these three four customization options are available which are necessary which should be there and these are available here other things include all the android 11 features as expected also include the xiaomi parts like the me sound enhancer nothing else nothing extra here here. other things are same nothing else to show you almost everything is same here in my opinion the room is great but in the terms in the, if you compare it with the octavi os octavi os is far more great this room just has a lot of hype it's great it's almost great but octavi os is one of the greatest rooms in my opinion so i will choose octavi os instead of this one in the terms of battery backup in the terms of performance in the terms of a lot more things so these are my honest opinions about this build i hope you like this video if you like this don't forget to like and share this video this is all thanks for watching goodbye